My name is Hazel Mendez. I'm the proprietor of Friday's Restaurant in Grosley. I would just like to share with you my COVID-19 experience. We often hear the horror stories of the pandemic almost every day. Some hit closer to home than others. I would know all too well I've had my fair share. After completing my two-week quarantine and emerging as a survivor of COVID-19, I felt extremely blessed and lucky to know that I only endured mild flu symptoms throughout the illness. At least that's what I thought. A few days later, I noticed my hair thinning out with chunks in my brushes and on my clothing as well. Ladies, who would have thought COVID-19 could have leave us almost bald? Within two weeks, 80% of my hair was gone. I tried everything to salvage the little that was left. Oils, rubs, herbs, nothing worked. The only thing left to do was to cut it all off and start afresh. It seems starting fresh and ending things altogether are the real symptoms of the pandemic. I struggled for a while to adjust to this new look, and I'm sure my husband did too. Forever wondering what next. Leaving many restless days and nights thinking about my health, more so the economical impact that this was also having on my business. As for being a business owner, these trying times have put so much strain on our mental. It has been more than just losing revenue. My biggest heartache is knowing that my employees depend on me for their daily bread and I cannot in any way provide for them. Operating at a loss didn't help either. The ever-changing protocols, safety and health concerns are just some of the hurdles we battle with on a daily to weekly basis. We as business owners have posed with the questions over and over, what do I do now? A question I still do not have an answer to 100%. I have closed my business down three times for the year. We have been closed for this pandemic year more than we've actually been open throughout the year. I do know, however, the instant I was able to get the vaccine, I did so and I urge all my employees and family to do so as well. I went out of my way to set up vaccination appointments once they agreed. It is the light at the end of the tunnel and we all need to get there. I continue to advocate for the vaccination, educate and share my experiences with people I meet with the hope that we can all achieve the same goal. Get vaccinated, it saves our lives.